Hello everyone, welcome back. You are watching the Data Labs. My name is Dilip. In this video, we are going to learn about how to create a rolling calendar with the help of M language in Power BI. So let's move to Power BI window. And to create the rolling calendar, let's uh, go to Home tab in Power BI and click on Edit Queries and then the Edit Queries option. So once you click on Edit Queries, it will directly jump to the Power Query Editor. It's a power query window right so in home tab just go to like click on new source and then select blank query and uh, to create the calendar basically we need a uh, start date so to to enter the start date we will utilize uh, the date function in power query and as you know uh, date function accept three different parameters first one is year as number month as number and the uh, third one is day as number so let's start uh, enter equal to and then hash and then uh, date uh, make sure a uh, power query like m language is a case sensitive so you should enter the same like you know, d should be a uh, uh, like date should be in lower case basically uh, start bracket and as we need to uh, enter three different parameters for like year month and date so so let's uh, you know, enter 2019-2019 as year, January as first and again first of Jan is like day as one and now press enter. So as soon as you will enter press enter you will see that uh, there is output like first Jan 2019. So basically date function re uh, returns the uh, date basis of the parameters which you have passed okay. Now we need to generate the list of dates basically from starting from 1st Jan 2019 to uh, 15th of Jan uh, 15th of September 2019 because you can see that in my system the today date is uh, 15th September 2019 right so uh, to generate the list of uh, you know, uh, dates basically uh, starting from this date uh, to 15th of September 2019 or whatever the dates uh, will be available you know, in your system when you run this query basically then uh till that right so to do that you just we need to extend this particular you know code so just click on this function add steps so once you click on add steps you can see in applied steps uh, like this is the first steps like source and this is the sec second step that is custom one so we uh, need to utilize the function uh, that is called a list dates basically so uh, to generate the list basically uh, date list so list dot dates and list dates uh, takes three different types of parameter first one is date that is the source uh, this is the first january 2019 so it will work like we need to keep this uh, date as a starting date right and the second sh uh, date is count as number it means the gap uh, the 15 september 2019 minus first uh, september uh, say first of jan 2019 so whatever the numbers like uh, the difference of these uh, dates we need to pass here okay so in power query we we uh, we can't you know uh, we we can't do the like calculation or you know uh, dif uh, find the difference uh, from one date to other dates directly because right so we need to utilize a different function a new function basically uh, we need to add uh, you need to utilize a function that is called number dot from so number dot from basically returns a number value from the given value like whatever the number or uh, whatever the date or whatever the text value we will pass and if that text value or uh, date value has some number then it will return those numbers basically right so first of all we need to find the today date so uh, to find the today date we uh, need to utilize uh, again another function that is called date and uh, date time dot local now date time dot local now start bracket the end bracket so basically date uh, time dot local now this is date time function it returns the date uh, and date and time value uh, the value available in your system basically right so it extract the date from this value uh, like your current system configuration and it will pass uh, like it will give the output as uh, date and again number dot from will extract the numbers from this particular date right so this is uh, this is the date uh, to uh, today date and now we need to deduct uh, we need to minus uh, 
the the date basically the first Jan 2019. Then again we uh, we will utilize the number from function and here our date should be source. So this is the count. Okay. Now we need to pass the duration. Like uh, do we not? We do we need to keep the duration as uh, one on daily basis? Do we need to uh, uh, add the date uh, one by one like uh, like? first jan 2019 second jan 2019 and so on till 15th of september or the dates which is available on your system right so for uh, so as we are creating a calendar function calendar uh, you know, table so we need to uh, keep uh, increasing by one day on you know? so to do that we need to use uh, uh, the duration function duration right and duration function accept four different type of parameters that is first is day second is hour a third is minute and fourth is second so all the parameters should be in number so we are just going to uh, like keep the gap between dates uh, only one so we just need to pass one and the rest should be zero this is for hour this is for minute this is for second right and then close the bracket so this is our function this that's in just click on enter now you can see that uh, this list dot dates function uh, you know, create, uh, generated generated a list starting from first of Jan 2019 till just go down 15th of September 2019. That is the today date. And as soon as your system will uh, change the date, it will automatically uh, this particular list dot date function will automatically add one date uh, basis on the dates available in your system right so we have all the dates uh, starting from 1st jan 2019 till 15th of september 2019 so uh, now we need to go uh, to the transform tab here and just click on uh, convert to table basically so here this is the query and now we need to convert the query to table so just click on uh, this one like to table And you can see the pop up like uh, this is the window. So just uh, keep all is all as it is. Like uh, just select enter. No need to change anything so here. Just click on OK. Right. And now you can see that uh, this 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 uh, this particular query has been changed to table. So just double click on the column one and make it date. Right. And again go to transform. And select as a data type basically date so no, now we have uh, the date column uh, like date column uh, with uh, starting from like 1st of Jan 2019 to 15th of September 2019 let's uh, change the name as calendar okay so so uh, now we have to add uh, several columns like year quarter month name and all the things so just select this column go to add columns basically and in a uh, format date and time just uh, click on date and then you can see uh, like day name of day so you can see that uh, the name of day has started appearing over here again select the date column then go and then week uh, uh, week of you can see that week of year so you can see that one one two two three three has started reflecting over here again select this one date and you know the month so uh, month name uh, name of month again select this date and a start of month right then select again the date the first date column and go to date here and select the year so now we can see that uh, we have added all those required uh, uh, no, columns apart from the date columns like day name week of year month name start of month and year so just go to home close and apply just wait for a couple of seconds and uh, the calendar will get uploaded to your power bi window okay just go to uh, data view now you can see that uh, this is the calendar available here now go to a uh, modeling tab here and mark as 
date and date table select the column date column as a date and it will validate whether uh, like date is correctly available in this particular table or not and now you can see that this is uh, validated successfully click on ok so now a uh, rolling calendar is available in your power bi so on daily basis uh, this particular queries the uh, m queries will start adding uh, date basis on the uh, dates available in your system so this is all about how to create a rolling calendar with the help of m language hope uh, this video will be useful for you thank you for watching please like share subscribe and comment have a great day bye bye